Hello everyone. So the INI super specialty results are out and we have Dr. Gaurav Gautam with us. Dr. Gaurav Gautam has achieved a stupendous rank, AML rank of seven. Dr. Gaurav is INI SS pediatric topper DM neonatology. He has got a rank seven year and it's our pleasure to invite Dr. Gaurav Gautam to this interview. So Dr. Gaurav, welcome to this interview and congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you, sir. So, Dr. Gaurav, before we start, can you just share about your background? Aap kahan se hai and from where you did your UG and PG from and where are you working right now? Uh, sir, uh, basically I'm from Agra only and I did my UG from uh, MAMC, uh, MAMC Delhi, sir. And then after that, I did my MD uh, in pediatrics from AIMS Jodhpur, sir. And after that, I did my one and a half years of, of SR ship in AIMS Jodhpur only. Then, uh, Baad, sir, I did my uh, PGC, uh, I mean the fellowship in neonatology from SGPJ Lucknow. So currently I am working there only. Uh, my tenure has been completed, but still I am uh, like going there. Okay, great. And uh, how did you feel like like when the results came? Just before I started this interview, you were telling me that uh, you were initially not preparing for the exam. So when did you start? Like what was the previous exam that you gave and? How did you, you know, transform from that rank to rank seven in uh, INISS? Uh, sir, initially I was not uh, uh, like preparing for DM uh, entering exam. I thought that pediatrics would be sufficient uh, branch. But uh, after seeing my my fellow colleagues, like uh, many of them got good ranks in DM uh, entering exam uh, earlier. So I also got the urge to prepare for it. So after I joined in PDCC in uh, SGPGIS and for the fellowship course, uh, after that, I got the urge and the uh, encouragement to prepare for DM neonatology. Then around six to uh, eight months back, I started preparing for it. So in six months, you have got uh, rank seven, rank in the top 10. Like that's really commendable. So, so more than my is... happiness, it's my relief. Ke, like uh, I have also practiced. Yes. <laughs> and... After MD pediatrics, sir, there was a much of a gap. Like one and a half, like one and a half years of SR ship, then PDCC. So now it's a relief that I have also I'm also joining the elite list. Yes, you you are joining the elite list and you are joining AIMS only. Yes. So AIMS. <laughs> so you, excellent, excellent, uh, Dr. Gaurav. So Dr. Gaurav, can you just tell about how did you plan your preparation for INISS? Like what were the things you did earlier and what were the things you focused on in the last six, seven or eight months, as you said? When Sir, you started? Uh, uh, first of all, I didn't prepare for NEET SS. Sir. Like uh, I knew that my capability is not to crack, to crack NEET SS. So I was focusing more on INISS only because I wanted, if like my aim was to go into an AIMS only, not for any state colleges. Sir, uh, so this was my second attempt in the AIMS center examination, sir. Uh, earlier attempt I gave one year back. And uh, that time I, I had no knowledge ki, like how to prepare for it. And that was. Uh, after doing my PDCC here, like uh, for the past six months, like uh, since I was doing like doing my fellowship in neonatology from SGPDI, so most of the practical aspects and the and the clinical aspects were clear in my mind from the daily routine rounds and the the daily routine academics. And apart from that, sir, I uh, I read Clohati and uh, Nuclear Protocols. Sir. Actually, sir, uh, I did my MD pediatrics from AIMS Jodhpur. So there, the department of of, of neonatology is very strong. And luckily, my thesis was also in neonatology only. So out of three years, two years, I was in the NIC only. Hmm. So that clinical and the practical aspects was very strong. Like, uh, luckily, it was very strong for me. Hmm. Uh, and theory wise, sir, I was uh, consulting Clohati and uh, aim protocols. Great, great. And apart from that, uh, did you solve any MCQs also? And uh, if you did, what was the source? And uh, did you use prep ladder uh, resources as well? Did you pay them? Use sir, prep ladder I used for general pediatrics, sir, because uh, like uh, prep ladders I, I used in uh, MD final like MD professional examination, sir, final examination. So at that time I used the prep ladder, and uh, I consolidated my general pediatrics from from that only, sir. Like your notes were very crisp, so uh, I for the notes only I bought I especially bought the iPad. And I made my own notes sir, from your like listening to you. So and I compiled those. Uh, so the, those helped me during my MBBA. Uh, I mean the MD pediatrics final examinations also, and uh, for revising the general pediatrics part here also in the, in uh, like DM entrance examination. 
Great, great. So, uh, Dr. Gaurav, uh, what were the areas you found that this time weightage was more and weightage was less in the neonatology section? Like, if some, you have to sit again or you have to ask some your one of your juniors to sit, what advice would you give? How should they be planning? What are the areas they should be focusing for DM neonatology, INISS? Sir, first and foremost, uh, we should read NIC protocols by heart. Like, there is no alternative for that. Right from page one to the page page seven fifty, complete. Aapka hona chahiye sir wo. Apart from that, uh, the the topics which are not there in the uh, protocols, that should be covered from Cloarty. I think going for too many books is uh, not uh, a good thing. Cloarty and Nikhil protocols are sufficient. First, do the 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 Nikhil protocols completely. Then, if you find any uh, like anything like any topic is uh, is uh, like not covered there, then you can consult to. Uh, like your like Lohati. Apart from that, sir, your your stat should be strong. In every aims, in all the the NESS, at least six to seven questions are there from stats. So your stat should be strong. Luckily, my stats were strong because the I did my thesis in neurotology only, and uh, at that time I I had done all the stats, sir. So stats were strong. And apart from that, sir, uh, if you are working in the NICU. So generally, the sir, MD may up, like we have two months postings in the NICU on rotation basis. So when I so when you are posted there, be like be vigilant and and keep your uh, eyes and ears open because every round will give you something that will again be asked in the exam. So that is the success point. So uh, students who are listening to this bedside teaching is not redundant even if you are targeting an entrance exam. Number one, you are going to be clinicians. Number two, whatever you listen, those even if you get rebuked or sometimes uh, uh, you hear some unfavorable words from your consultants, you are going to learn that and you never know that point may be the uh, question which will be asked to you in the exam. So Dr. Gaurav, what about the department assessment? How did you uh, fare uh, well in that? And what were the components? So departmental assessment, sir, uh, was held on 19th of May, and uh, it has two stages. Like stage one, I mean, the part one is in the in the morning time. It is around it is of around 25 marks, and uh, 10 marks of the biva. That is the, the like oh, that is in the evening, sir. So in the morning, sir, what they do is they give you one one clinical scenario, and based on that they will ask you the, the questions. But the questions, the level of questions are very advanced. Advanced in the form of like uh, they will ask you. Hammersmith scoring and Hammersmith examination of the baby. They will give you the, the video of that. And they may ask you the combined Abgar and the expanded Abgar. That is given in the Clohati only. Uh, apart from that, sir, they will ask you the recent guidelines of the NNF. So you should be thorough with the NNF guidelines, CPG guidelines. You should be, be, be thorough with that. For the, like for, for sir, my example, uh, my, like our case was parental asphyxia. If I am allowed to disclose here, sir. Like, so can we disclose the questions here of the department? It's assessment? okay. It's okay. Don't go into the details because again, yeah, NDA will come into play. Just tell about the topics or general overview. You can. Sir, say. they will give you one one uh, like the one case scenario, like uh, any case scenario, like RDS, penetral asphyxia, jaundice, like so and so baby term, preterm baby, so and so weight, itna, Edgar, itna, didn't cry at birth, and so and so, and required PPV required. They say, say they will give you one like the one scenario. And based on that, they will ask you the question like calculate the abgar, like combined abgar, what are the NNF guidelines, therapeutic hypothermia, role of therapeutic hypothermia, evidence of that. And uh, in the follow up, hammerstone examination of their child, seizures, and sunnat staging, and that all. But the, based on the based on the your case scenario, they will ask you the, 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 the questions. Those questions are to be are to be written on a paper, then we have to send the photo of that. So that is in the morning, sir. And in the evening, sir, uh, they ask you five questions that and uh, in the viva sir they ask you five questions and if you and uh, you answer them or you, you don't answer them that, that, that's the department assessment sir. yes and uh, obviously you did very well in that that's why you ended up with a stupendous rank so Thanks. excellent uh, dr gaurav uh, dr gaurav uh, one more thing before i come to the end of this interview uh, mm -hmm. Any any role of every and journals in the preparation, or do you feel Cloherty plus same protocol plus Nelson is good enough? Sir, more than enough. I, I think uh, nuclear protocols, Cloherty, and the uh, pediatric notes, general pediatrics. 
it's more than enough yes. and uh, so the pattern of ni in ess is like that out of 80 questions 60 questions will be will like will be from neurology and 20 questions will be from general pediatrics and general pediatrics yes. maybe sir they ask you more of genetics and more of uh, sta uh, i mean the genetics and the chromosomal disorders they ask you more so that should be thorough and the nifty protocols to sir there is no like no alternative so you have to do learn by heart right from page 1 to page 3 you never know from which line they will ask you the question so that is the one thing and whatever thing is missing in the nifty protocols proarty great great uh, so in the end dr gorov uh, you have achieved great success and you are going to be a dm person you are moving into a niche league elite league now so this success there must have been other people who supported you in this and you want to thank any shout out any thanks you want to give to your family friends your wives anybody sir, first of all like uh, general pediatrics i owe to you because that was uh, the lacking part so your notes were very crisp and precise and exhaustive also but it was very simple to read actually sir what i did was i heard you and then i made my own notes so that helped me a lot secondly uh, so my wife uh, like uh, she's also doing uh, like she's also uh, she has completed her uh, md in anesthesia so currently uh, she is also working here in uh, in lucknow only so she has supported me in that actually sir she is my lucky charm because i like stage one result stage two result i have uh, asked her to check for me <laughs> you check my so that was a kind of jinx apart from that uh, my parents sir my friends uh, who have supported me from to this great 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 so dr gorav uh, lovely talking to you and uh, such you, clarity of thought you have ki itna hi padhna hai aur ye faltu mein idhar udhar nahi jana hai and do it thoroughly whatever you have to do uh, yes. do it by heart i think that's the message from dr gorav and yes. uh, if you're married your 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 lady life is going to be the lucky charm so yes. uh, whether even if you're a girl uh, if uh, your husband ask your spouse to check your results it worked for dr gorav it is going to work for you also but end of the day i think uh, it's your dedication and your hard work other things obviously come into play they are they do play a supporting role so yes. wishing you all the success uh, may you be the top most neonatologist in the country and uh, you have already made everyone proud may uh, you shine like a you know beacon star in the uh, sky in the coming years and we on behalf of prep ladder SS, we wish you all the best for your future, Dr. Gaurav. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot.